All set? Okay. I'd like to welcome everybody tonight to a regular uh, select board meeting, Town of Pownell. Today is Thursday, January 24th. Um, tonight we have uh, public comment, we have approval of minutes, warrants, some mail, and the town administrator's report. Um, we have old business and new business. Uh, for the town administrator's report, we have BCRC uh, award for municipal planning. We have a report on phase two at the landfill west. Uh, we have a report on economic development activities. Uh, we have the uh, emergency action plan before us to vote on. Uh, we have to look at moving some funds, um, undesignated general and road funds. Uh, we have to with the budget before us tonight to hopefully uh, vote and approve. Um, and uh, a warning for next week's meet special meeting uh, for the town town warning. Um, recommendation to discontinue the wastewater board and personnel and contract for after the meeting. Anybody else have anything to add to the agenda? Thank you. Add to the agenda Cindy's buses. Yes, what's that in the agenda? Bus discussion. Okay, under old business. Sure. Um, <coughs> can we put it under public comments? Yeah. Certainly. Please. Yeah. Okay. It's earlier in the okay. morning. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, that was your. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> we all fell asleep for a minute. <laughs> so we can't wait till old business to bring something up that early. Is that what you're looking for? No, no she asked. She oh, yes. said something about discontinuing the sewer report. Yes, in other words, um, we wouldn't be the, the uh, there's a proposal to not, to only get out there once a year to do the budget, but for us not to go there quarterly anymore. But there still would be a board, correct? Well, yeah, there would just, be, sure just be your representative then. Right. Yeah, but if so there was a problem, the select board would still be the board. Right. Yeah. It says recommend, recommendation to discontinue wastewater board is the way it's written here. We have a letter from Dorothy. Right. Okay. We can explain that when we get to it. Okay. Uh, with that said, I'll take a motion to approve our agenda. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Public comment. Um, last week we had some discussion on um, the school's buses that we have here right now. Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay. Um, okay. Um, Before that, we'll have okay. Rose speak. Go ahead, I'm, I'm uh, I guess for the record, Rosemary Pelletier, and I'm here tonight as the president of the Friends of Pownal. Um, for the people in the audience who are not familiar with the Friends of Pownal, it's a uh, Vermont domestic, domestic nonprofit uh, corporation that has been in existence since 2008, and I'll read its purpose, um, whose purpose is to promote historical and educational materials to and to foster communication and understanding among and civic pride in residents of the town of Pownal, Vermont. Um, and over the past number of years now, the organization, in, in lieu of that mission, has been hosting candidate forums when we have contested races. And we have a number of contested races this year, so we'd like to do the same thing this year. We do it at the Pownell Elementary School, but the SDSU requires that the organization who uses the space covers the insurance. Okay. And uh, so we're not an insured body. Okay. So over the past number of years, we've been coming to this board each year to ask that you're, you put us under your insurance for that evening event. Okay. So that's what I'm here to ask you to approve. Okay. And after you do your vote, I have one more comment. Okay, make. very good. I'll make a motion to approve that we let them have the space. Okay. The town always does. I'll second it, I guess. Okay. All in favor, say aye. 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 Discussion. You're approving the, the use of the insurance. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. And the other thing I was going to ask, now that we have a town manager, That's instead of coming as an administrator, not a manager, um, is that something that this board could decide to allow that person to okay, or next year should we come before the board again? 
and you don't have to make that decision tonight, but okay. that would be the question. Okay. It, and you might want to consider whether, I mean, it's not an issue to come okay. over the board. Right. You know, mm -hmm. But right. I just thought it might save you a little bit of time. Okay. But this is the formal request. Okay. Very good. <laughs> do we have well, a date? You. We don't have a date yet. I didn't want to do anything until I knew we were going to be covered. So the next step will be tomorrow. I will go to the uh, uh, elementary school, look at what dates are available. And what we then do is get it from uh, Julie a list of the candidates and put present a handful of dates is what we've done in the past and sort of pick a date that seems to, to fit. You know, with as many candidates as we have, it's going to be hard to to do, have, make it so everybody can be there. In the past, we have said if a candidate is not there, they're welcome to send a representative. So, for example, last year, Bob Jarvis couldn't be there, but he's, his wife presented his mm -hmm. thing. Um, it's a, it's a nonpartisan, everybody gets a, a fair field. It's just to give the citizens a chance to meet candidates, and especially this year, you know, there's so many people who are running who have not run before that we thought it was uh, important that we offer this. Okay. So we appreciate your your willingness to you know, support this by. I think it's important, insurance. and I hope everybody comes out. Yeah, yeah. and uh, we'll we'll promote it in you know whatever ways we can. Yeah, mm -hmm. a, a large gathering would be nice, and at the end of it, um, we have a, a light refreshments, and we encourage people to hang around and talk one on one with the candidates. Okay. Is that and when we pick a date, is that something we could add to our uh, website? Sure. Yeah, just remind me. And okay. I, as a suggestion, uh, pick a second date. Yes. Because if it closes for, for snow, they, right. if the school closes for snow, they're closed. They're right. not going to And so. we won't, yeah. Yeah. Good thought. Thank you. You're welcome. Very good. Bus discussion. Okay. Well, Angie and I are here to maybe enlighten you this board as to what's happening with our buses um, under act 46 um, the school board actually um, ratified we joined the litigation and at that point they put a stay on the committee the meeting that was supposed to have january 15th until it's changed it has been brought back up to the third week of february now up until the third week of february we still have time to we want to move our buses. We're talking two buses. We have five. This is what it cost us in 2018 for five buses, total of $6,700. We want to keep two of our buses, and the main reason is to transport our children on field trips. Without the buses, our children in the Pound Elementary School will not be allowed to go on field trips. It's the gone. cost of the, the buses that they're using now is astronomical um, and not only that we the town pays for the bus in the summer for the rec program that's right the month of july for a hundred years i think we put on the uh the town has put on the rec program for the whole month of july for all the students in pano and we they use the buses <coughs> so we're talking two buses the other three Joel's trying to sell them. Um, unfortunately, if we had known hindsight, we did have a bus sinking fund, but we asked last year, we asked the voters to move it into the general fund so we can fix our furnace. Um, otherwise, we'd have probably just turned that over to the town. Um, anything we can sell the other three buses for, if you accept the buses, we go there. We don't know. If this may not, it may not happen. We have no clue what the outcome of the Act 46 is going to be. It could, it could leave us the way we are, and that's what we're hoping. But if it doesn't, and we are joined into this new group, then they, and I don't understand how they can, our building and anything the school owns goes into this kitty. And I feel very strong, number one, about not having the children access to a bus to go on field trips. We're, not only that, the town people put in a lot of money to help us buy them. Now, the, the two buses that we're talking are in really good shape, low mileage, and they're probably good for 10 years. 
Now, if this winds up that Act 46 is thrown out the window, which Maine went into Act 46 for two years, and now they're going backwards. They, it doesn't work. So we're kind of hoping that we can stay the way we are and save our buses. Now, I know I heard last week, I heard someone say that maybe we can put it out to a vote. The vote is in March. That makes it hard because if they meet in the third week of February and that, that meeting is held, then we won't have enough time to turn our buses over. Now, it may, if the courts work in our favor, then they will cancel that meeting too, but we have no clue. It's just a wait and see game. So if can I ask a question? Sure. Well, just I just want to. You had this passed around. I think it's important we announce it that you know the cost here, the breakdown of the cost. So the maintenance on the buses um, for fiscal year eighteen was eighteen hundred and thirty six dollars. Insurance was thirty two hundred and ninety dollars, and fuel and oil was sixteen hundred and seventy two dollars. That that's for the five buses. For all five. Okay. Right. And that's per year. That was for this particular year. Yes. Okay. Okay. <coughs> But we didn't, we didn't use them buses for school, did we? we yes. yes, we use it for our field trips. Field trips. Field trips. I, we didn't use it the bus. Eh? No. Do four had the contract for a year or better? Uh, we have oh, yes. to. Okay, yes. just yes. It's you mandated know, by you're the state. You're talking five buses and huh? these things. I want it clear to the people what, well, what we're doing. Well, what happened what was doing. when we decided, when, when Dufour took over, we decided to keep the insurance on all our buses. We, and that's because we were told through the insurance company, you know, it would be wiser because uh, Joe let us park three of them down at the farm. If something happened to them, we're covered. And that's why we, we covered all five of them. But... Uh, well, that isn't the, really why I asked it. I asked the question because you got five buses. I'm sure you didn't use five buses all the time for field trips. No. No, we, we, were, we were busing, and some of the people, when they heard that, we had five buses, that's what it cost for a year. You know, there's people that don't pay attention to that stuff. They they just go along, they do their job, they come home, and yeah. they, yeah. our buses, we are, our kids are bussed around by Dufour at this point in time. Yes, they are. Correct? Yes, that's all, that's the only Except clarification for field trips. I for, for field trips and for the summer rec Except program in the month program. of July. Yeah, right. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because it wouldn't make sense to have, if you had five buses, you to eliminate three if you if they were being used. No. That's what, that's the point I think that's confusing with people. Okay. I say, well. Steve had a question. Yeah. Uh, Steve, you just announce your name. And okay, Steve Colby. Well, my question is kind of to Cindy. What you're kind of proposing is turning the buses to the town. That's correct. Correct? Okay. Yes. All right. Are you finished, Cindy, on that? Yes. Okay. Uh, I've listened to this before, <clears throat> a couple weeks ago, whenever it was brought up originally, we weighed it back and forth myself trying to figure out buses. Do we want to be in the bus business of the town? But if I'm not mistaken, if we don't turn these buses into the town, they go back into the school system. They go away. That's what I was just going to ask. So if they go away, we get nothing. Right. So at the moment, the only thing we're really faced with with these buses, and she just explained that they're fairly new, low mileage. We're basically putting up with the maintenance, the insurance, and registration. And any uses that the town would use them for, whether it be the school for school trips, uh, you could include, I'm assuming at this point, seniors, historical groups, using them for different events, if there was a group of people, it probably hasn't been done. But then again, with the expenses of hiring buses and doing things, lacks in a small, you know, organization that couldn't afford that. Where if we had them here already and being maintained, that would be kind of a payback to the people in the town, a bonus, mm -hmm. again, that we haven't paid for. I mean, these are usage that we, I wouldn't suggest we want buy a bus to do it. But here's a case where we get a bus or two that we already, basically, the taxpayers paid for, and we have a chance to lose them or utilize them. Worst scenario, we have them for a year. It doesn't work out the way we really thought it would. The maintenance is too high. Whatever. Uh, I don't see that happening because I'm assuming if any group took them, 
they have to get a driver that's qualified to drive them. You've got to pay the expenses within that and whatever the situation of the board deems fit for this. So that would cover kind of the usage. Uh, but if everything went array and it said, well, it's really we're not in the bus business. A year from now or two years from now, we sell the bus. Mm -hmm. it's nothing. We tried something, it either works or it didn't work. But the only expense we had, again, maintenance, insurance, and registration. Yeah, there was there was also some discussion about um, like the, the drivers. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, there's a cost. I mean, is the school paying for that? Uh, whoever is utilizing the bus okay. would be the and then and then as far as like the bus driver goes I mean, is she working for the town or is she working for the school how does it how does that she would have to be a qualified bus driver that's right we, we understand that but would she be an employee of the town of Powell probably because we we now have three drivers that that drive the, the, the students for the okay. field trip yeah. okay that, that's a gray area that I, I assume right. that you know some of the bus drivers we have currently would be chaperoned into this somehow. Not sure. Like I said, this was just mm -hmm. my aspect is here's something we can try for almost free. Right, except I, I think, that, again, when we, had, when we had the discussion, there were some of those questions that were brought up, concerns that we didn't have answered. You know, but I think those are important things we need to to find out because yeah, of, that's the only one you've really got faced is the drivers. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. You know, the rest there was of it, one other one. There was another open. concern too. I thought we had Ronnie. That I forget. Go ahead. Oh, well, I I kind of agreed with Steve when we were talking about it before. I don't care if we keep them a couple of buses, as long as it isn't going to cost us hardly anything. Then if they don't work out, we don't even know. Is the school? That was a big question. Another thing that was, what is really going to happen? Nobody knows. We don't right. know. Act 46 or whatever. Mm -hmm. when Act 46 done. goes through, all our assets go to Bennington and Bennington. Right. And I mean, we can bigger. decide as a as a town if we want to, as then you could put it on the ballot mm -hmm. the following year or whatever. Do we want to be in the bus business or whatever? I but for, suspect for, it. I don't know, but I would suspect after it gets incorporated, you don't have that. You choice. don't have that right. You don't have that. Choice. If we, we got the no buses, we do. No, no, no. The buses will become part of. Wait a minute. The buses are taken they out just, of the system. What? They, they, the buses are taken. Well, we're not talking. I'm not talking about the school. The buses will be turned over. The way you're talking, the two buses. The town would be taken out. If you take it over, town, yeah. But if you don't take it over, if we take it over, if we if we take this is uh, uh, this is a this is why we wanted you in here. That's why I to explain this stuff. Right. Now, if we take it over, now them are our buses. All right. Now we're responsible to have qualified driver or something to use it for field trips or whatever we want to use it for. <coughs> you know, them two buses. But if we decided in a, in a year or two, if Act 46 goes in and all that other stuff is combined, they ain't coming after the buses when no. they've already gone to the town. That's right. right. That's, that's why we're that, trying to turn it That's okay. what I'm trying to, that's okay. what I wanted clarified. Okay. That's what I Go was ahead, trying Sue. to, I was trying to okay. clarify the same okay. thing. If we okay. took them down, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's I'm let's trying to talk. clarify the same thing. So there's a time limit. So if Act 46 goes through, and we don't take the buses, they're going to take the buses. Exactly. And we lose them. Exactly. That's why we wanted to turn over all our assets. That's why we got we turned over the Little League field, because if Acts 46 goes through, they would take that field. Mm -hmm. And it wouldn't be left for pound children anymore. Mm -hmm. Steve. But, but we don't know if that's going to happen. Right. But you said if Act 46 goes through. But if we wait for Act 46 to go through, We've lost. Yes, it'll be yes. too late. Too yes. late. Too yes. late. This has to be done before right. that, so we're ahead of the curve. Yep, okay. yep I understand. But, I, but again, I just I want to make sure we cover it because it was <laughs> our discussion last week. We, two weeks ago, we talked about the cost of a new bus. Right. We talked about replacing them. There were some yep. other costs there, and there were yep. some questions that we didn't have answered. Yep. And I think those were all part of making a decision. Yep. And nobody told us that them. they were good for 10 years yeah. or anything like that. We don't expect like the right. town to that buy new the, buses. Like, if we take the buses over right. and we get to use them for a couple of years and say one breaks down or whatever, we, we don't expect right. the town no. to purchase any bus. Because the last time we bought a bus, it was 79000 yeah. It was seventy nine thousand. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Chairman. Yes. If you choose to do that and you enter that, put that in the budget. You can't vote on the budget tonight. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. We'll take Caveat. that. We'll take that under consideration. Jamie. Uh, Harry Percy. Yeah, I'm sorry, Harry. Um, Ron spoke of taking the two bucks. You're going to take all five, right? And then no, all the other no, three. no. Well, speech already. Well, only two. The only one <laughs> I already. would suggest taking all five, then you could take in the well, town. Three are for sale now. Auction them off. Three well, are for sale right now. Well, if you take two, I'm just throwing this out there, and then this 46 goes through, they're going to absorb them out of the three. You're going to <laughs> where if you take all three, or all five, you're going to keep two anyways. Um, there's a municipal website through the state. You can utilize Auction International, and it's a national uh, site you can put them on, any kind of uh, equipment. So the town will get something back that way. What condition are the other three in? The third one, we have three parked at the school right now, and they're in very good condition. Um, there's two sitting down at the farm. They're older. Um, probably wouldn't get a whole lot for them. Okay. You'd have to ask Joel. Joel's the one that's been trying to put them on, on the option. Because you're talking a vehicle that has to be really safe. Mm -hmm. It's transporting kids. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Old buses mm -hmm. don't bring a lot. Old buses care. don't bring much. Okay. Mm -hmm. no, I, you know, but I don't know. But it was a good point. Yes, very good. So, Bob, just to bring you up to date, we're talking about the, the buses, and this is what it would cost us if we take them. There's two of them. Okay. This is the total cost for both of them. Yeah. No, no. Five. For, five. for five. Okay. So even if we only take two, it's not going to be as, this much. All right. But what we were saying is, even if we take them, we have to take them, if we're going to take them, we have to take them before Act 46 takes them, is what Cindy's been telling us. And as Ronnie said, if we take them, and next year we say we don't want to be in the bus business, we can sell them. Well, how many questions has Steve asked? Yeah, there's, there's a bunch questions. of different yeah. questions. There are questions that we wanted to... clarified. We didn't have clarification the last time we talked about these things. Right. right. I and mean, I, don't think, I can't speak for anybody but myself, but I mean, if we're going to put, we're not, we, we don't, I, I'm sure we don't want to be in the bus business, most of the people in town, period. But if we got these things for nothing for a couple of years or whatever, and we use them for our field trips or whatever, then it don't cost us no, hardly anything. I think the people are, would be understanding and say, hey, that's a good thing. I think the parents of the students of the Palma Elementary School would probably thank you, this board for doing that. Because like I said, I could have walked away from this, but knowing that these kids that don't have a whole lot and never even probably been to a museum, it just it bothers me to think, and I would never go in the school and say to the principal, we're not taking your children anymore. And I, I just, that's why we're here, to protect at least two of the buses. That's what we want them for. Jason. So? Um, so if we don't take them, the students can't go on field trips anymore. That's correct. Pretty much correct, because what happens it's is... It's expensive. It's very, very expensive. Dufour won't take them on Well, first of all, enough. you have Dufour, and you have all the schools, and you have all the activities of the sports and stuff, and the sports gets first dibs. They only have so many buses that they could ship out at once. And if Woodford wants to go on a field trip in Bennington and North Bennington and Pondell, and they only have two buses, usually the outside people don't get a choice. And it's very expensive. It's like $100... Isn't over at a hundred dollars? We had a figure last week. It's yes, fourteen thousand five hundred. We went on forty-five trips. The school did, and it cost about forty-five hundred dollars. It would have cost fourteen thousand five hundred from Dufour. Dufour. They gave us a price when they took the contract over, and they <coughs> said we don't want to do field trips. Number one, if they do, when they do it for even Shaftesbury or Bennington, they say to them. You have to leave at this time, and we have to be ha back by this time. They're not, in my personal feeling, is they're not in the business of telling schools when they can come and go. And that's why we just said we'll keep our buses and use them for our students. Well, they have the school bus runs, so they have to be back in time to go on to the school yes. bus runs. Mm -hmm. Yes. I think, Steve, I think you guys got an opportunity to get into this at a very low cost to try something that may or may not work 
but the expense is so light getting in to see if it'll work and the out is so easy because if it doesn't work mm -hmm. you sell and like I said not only just for the school mm -hmm. but for the fact that you have other affiliates in town that may absorb something like this like the seniors and historical mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. that haven't thought of it before because of the expense and their budget wouldn't cover it but they could pay a driver and gas to do something like this so it's kind of a a little bit of a payback to the people in town for a very little cost to, to the town. So I, I think you'd be very wise to do it. In my own opinion. I just, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't see your hand. I know, I'm way back here. Hi, I'm Lena Pallon. Pallon. Um, I just want to comment. I think what they're trying to do is very commendable, and having been the Girl Scout leader in this community for so long, I know how much money we had to shell out for um, a Green Mountain tour bus just to take the girls on a trip. It was about $5,000. And so we had to reach out and get other troops to go with us just so we could afford it. It's very expensive. So I really love the idea that you want to give back to the community and give back to the kids because they don't have opportunities. <clears throat> but to Harry's point, even though the buses are older, Ron, there's some people out there, like the brown, I'm, I'm not saying the brown cow, but people who have startup food businesses that would buy a used school bus and retrofit it to be a food, a, a food vehicle to do things like that. So there is opportunities, even though it's older and we might not get as much money for it, don't pass up an opportunity to make a little bit. A little is better than nothing. That's all I want to say. I have a question. If, if you don't have that, if the town doesn't take hold of the buses, does that mean that the summer program would not run because it would be too expensive? Yeah. Okay. And I think, you know, that should weigh into the equation. I mean, we still have the program, but there's not going to be transportation, transportation. And so you're not going to have the involvement. Exactly. Yeah. So I think that's that's something else to be weighed because that's I think that's a, a real vital a service to the, the students. Who and they also it. do yeah. the bookmobile yeah. yeah. in the summer. Have you guys yes, ever looked at partnering so with Oak Hill Children's Center? Can you state your name? And I'm I'm Marlena Pallon again. Have you ever looked at partnering with Oak Hill Children's Center? Because during the summer when they have school age children and they're trying to do programs with them, they don't have transportation to they bring them. No, buses. they use the buses. They, just, they are they using yes, the buses they are now? Using our buses. Okay. Uh -huh. Back when my children were there, we didn't have transportation. Mm -hmm. And so that's fantastic. And also Woodford uses them occasionally. Anybody else have any questions? Yeah, if we, if we decide to do this, uh, first of all, I'm sorry I'm late. I just drove straight here from the airport, and it was treacherous. Mm -hmm. um, if we decide to do this, uh, I think, you, didn't you say as I was walking in that that means we can't vote on the budget tonight? No, we'll have can't. to go and uh, uh, recalculate it, yes. which is not a big deal, but um, when, um, how far can we push the budget off? We're, we're running against a deadline yeah, at this point, can't right? go past the 31st, so you have to, uh, next week, uh, you vote on it, do everything in one night. February 3rd puts you 30 days before election. Yeah. Okay. So we'd have, it's a special meeting. Yeah. Then uh, you would, we'd have to sit down and if you if you decided to do this, we'd have to create the line item and uh, insurance and right. fee, you know, get all those fees and break them out in the, in the lines. And I'm sorry if I'm making people repeat things, but uh, I heard five buses and that's what this is. And we have an opportunity for two, or this is two buses? They're okay. asking us to take two. Two, okay. All right. And, and that's a, what this there's is. A, we, have, we own a total of five right now. That's what it costs in the, for fiscal year 18 for the five buses. <coughs> All five. Oh, okay. So, so it would be the a, plan is we a, take the buses over, we keep two of them, and we part with three of, we sell okay. three of them. So the cost plus increase would be about 40% of what's here. Mm -hmm. yeah. I have and to add them on our insurance. And in fact, 46 doesn't go through, we're not going to take them. We're going to give them back. And if it doesn't work out in a year, we, don't, we, we choose them. not to be in the bus business, we would sell them. And so we should probably put that in writing, too. But I think I'm going to make a motion that we take the buses. I'll second. Are, are you talking two or five? Two. But what what, just what they're asking us to take okay. the two buses. We'll keep them. If it, we, in a year, we don't want to be in the bus business, then it's up to the, the next board or whoever to decide to sell them. But if Act 46 doesn't go through, we give them back to the school. Okay, I was under the impression we were going to take all five and we we're going to sell three. It's, 
It's whatever the board chooses to do. Okay. At this point, we don't care. We okay. just so we, we just want to make sure we secure two buses okay. for our students. Okay. Wouldn't you think? Okay. So what's going to happen to the, if we go with just keeping two? What are we going to do with the other three? We keep them. Thank okay. you. Very and we're going to try to get rid yes. of them. Yeah. And if we get any money off of it, we will turn it over to you guys. Very good. Yeah, I want to go with the original. Okay, option. sounds good. That's so we have a motion. motion. We have a second. All in favor? Aye. Say aye. 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 Opposed? It's okay. okay. Thank you so much. And I'm sure every parent of every student in the town of Pano will appreciate it. You do. Come in and break it so we can break this out into accounts, uh, fuel, all that stuff. We have to create accounts in the budget. I think Joel could probably do that better. Okay. He's our maintenance gentleman. Right. He's been for 100 years. He's taken care of the buses. And all I can say is on behalf of the students of school, thank you so much. You're welcome. And hopefully we can fight this Act 46 and take it back. Keep fighting, Cindy. Did we, oh, Cindy, did we join the, <laughs> I'm sorry to ask a last question. Did we Did we join the lawsuit? Yes, oh, we yes, did. Yes, we did. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> she says that with glee. <laughs> Good to see you, Andy. <laughs> okay. Can Thanks for coming in. Move the funds. Thank you. Way. Yeah. Okay, moving along. You're out of, of minutes from January 10th. I don't know if you'll need that or not. It's not so moved. I'll second it. All in favor say aye. 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 Ronnie? Aye. Okay. Well, I thought I already said No, I didn't say no, it's not. All right. Uh, approval of minutes for January 12th, which was a special meeting on Saturday. That was a budget meeting. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Do you have a copy? Uh, I think I do. I, I've got a folder here. I'm sure I do. Don't we have one more? Oh, I thought we had three sets of minutes for some reason. No, we only have two. Oh, you had two sets of the same thing. Yep. That's why I got confused. Okay, the first one is for week ending uh, January 18th. The total amount, this is for uh, payroll, in the amount of $9,016.89. This is payroll week ending uh, January 25th in the amount of $10,873.47. Counts uh, payable uh, week ending January 18th in the amount of $13,000. Two hundred and thirty-three and fifty-seven cents. With the large ones being Morton Salt, Tam, and IRS. And this one, last one is for accounts payable. Uh, also, week ending January twenty-fifth, in the amount of twenty-one thousand. $809.22, with the large ones being uh, Morton Salt, MVP Health Plan for Employee Health Insurance, VMERS, which is Retirement, and IRS. Those are our four walks. Take a motion to approve. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Um, I'm going to abstain since I didn't sign them. Okay. 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 Mail. Mr. Chairman, you have a <coughs> for signature requesting reimbursement in the amount of $117,920 from state reimbursement for road work. 
and we require all of your signatures. That'll go back in the road from Blacktop. So we don't need to vote on that. Motion to sign. Motion to sign. We all got to sign it, I think. Yes. Okay. Jason. Yeah, but I guess we need a Do motion. We need a motion to, to sign it and to prove yeah. it. Okay. Well, you made the motion. Yeah, you? you're going to make second. the second. Okay. okay. All in favor, say aye. 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 Yes. Question. Uh, you you state your name, please. I didn't realize the, the uh, public comment was done with the buses. I didn't realize it was over. Is that, can I make a public comment still, or is that over with now? Uh, yeah, why don't we just finish uh, the mail, and then you can bring that over. Uh, Mr. Chair, we have, uh, as of January 7th, enough uh, signatures to petition to shall the voters of Pound of Vermont appropriate $15,000 $15, to hire a part-time director for the Solomon Wright Library. And certified by our court, <coughs> and petitions are here for your. Yep. That was Petition is asking us to put that, put that on the ballot. ballot article. Yes. Okay. I need to do that earlier. I do too. Do we need to do a motion or? We don't need to vote. Do we need to vote to accept it. Yes. Okay. I'll take a motion to accept it. Make a motion to accept. Got how many signatures there? Oh, wait. Plenty. Oh, yeah. Second, anyway. I cannot read the writing. It's okay. I think there's plenty. Yeah. yeah. It's all right, Chris. That's it. Right. There's plenty on a page. Yeah. At least three pages there, yeah. So I need a second. I second. You said, okay. Oh, sorry. All in favor, say aye. 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 Folks. So cares. <laughs> John. Yes, uh, I'm sorry about the missing the public comment part. But That's okay. I don't think we finished when we said that we were done with public comment. Yeah, oh, so okay. I, mean, I didn't, yeah. didn't hear it. So. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we did. Um, okay. well, anyway, I have a I'm John Bashi. Um I'm running for select board. Um, and also, we don't do campaigning here, John, yeah. so if okay. you're going to campaign, you can't right. do it at this right. meeting. Um, what's that? No, I'm not campaigning. No, I'm, at this I'm not campaigning. Okay. Um, I have a, a, an issue that arose. Um, I did talk to Michael. Michael's been helping me a little bit with it. Um, I just feel that it's a issue that should be brought to the board. I did contact um, the state up there to find out if there was anything that can be done that way. There wasn't. There is no precedence for them to do anything. They said it had to come back to the board here. Um, what it is is about ethics. Um, Ethics and moral, uh, I believe, is morally wrong at what, what happened, and that's why I want to bring it up to the board here. Um, there was some stuff discussed on Messenger between me and Mrs. Dewar. Um, she was bad mouthing a lot of people in town. I have copies of all those. I, I've turned this over to Michael. I, I want to present that to public so that they can see some of the stuff that's been actually going on. Um, Bad mouthing people like Bob, Fred, and many other people that just didn't get along with her views. What is going on now is that she texted me last. I wasn't talking with her. She texted me and said that my wife's comment about her her political position is saying letting letting people know in the town what was going on. Is telling me I have to tell my wife to shut up. Um, I think that's wrong. So I want to present that to the town. Oh, I'd like to have it and see if we can put it in agenda to discuss next meeting and also allow for her to be notified if she wants to come in and re represent her side or whatever to the board if that's something the board would I'm like to do. I'm confused because she's no longer on the board. Not here. Um, she is a pu public official still with uh, being a JP oh. and um, I think it's ethically wrong to be saying the stuff that she did. Also, I asked her when she opened that dialogue with me, I asked her for a um, apology to the board. I don't know if anybody heard about the economic board. She had a blow up board, came in to our meeting and disrupted the board. I asked her if she would come in and apologize to the board and she said no, she would not do that. <coughs> I think uh, the board deserves that, um, seeing she interrupted our meeting to basically badmouth people, call us disgusting and hateful people. Um, mainly me 
uh, and Fred Miller was sitting at the meeting. Um, Michael had to, to tell her, you know, to stop what she was doing, and she's basically telling him the same thing: "Don't scold me." This kind of stuff for her, him stopping her from doing what she was doing at the meeting. Um, it wasn't recorded, so it's not something nobody can see. Again, uh, the people there at the board know what was going on. The other people there on the board too saw all this. That I think is ethically wrong to be doing that kind of stuff. And as somebody is going for it as a JP seat, I, I just don't see that uh, ethically that she would be responsible to be doing a position like that. And I think it should come to the board to discuss. And since the state is not doesn't have anything to mandate it and do that, they said it had to go to the board and any of the policies that we have here. So have it you needs to be discussed to the here. State yes, I have. And what did they say? We have a ethics and conflict of interest policy that mirrors the requirement in uh, Title 24, Section 1984, that calls for an ordinance. You can either have the ordinance or you can meet the elements of it with our policy, and we have the policy. It essentially directs that uh, if, if such, something such as this happens, they can either, you can either get a petition of the voters for requesting removal, or come to the Board of Selectmen for um, ad admonishment of some sort, uh, either a written uh, letter of admonishment or something public. Uh, because of the ethics policy, even the ethics ordinance, they're not law, there's nothing legally that can be done. Uh, however, you have the authority to do something formally and whatever weight that, that carries. Is this part of our social media policy? Mm -hmm. Conflict of interest social media policies. Well, it, and those are two different policies. It's I believe this falls under the conflict of interest and ethics policy. Mm -hmm. um, and again, I want to make that public, the paperwork that I gave to Michael public, so that you can all read that if you need to. You can go through it and see the things that were being said and discussed. I want to have that as a public thing. What is it? Was it? I'm not sure how Public that, you have to, you have have to, to state, your name. You have to state your name and ask the question, <laughs> okay. please. Marlena Palan, I have a question. Sure. Um, was it was it personal dialogue or was it public business dialogue being done in a public capacity? <clears throat> I guess is my question to see where the line is, whether it's a personal matter or whether it's a public matter for the board. Because what I... I'm just trying to understand because it sounds like it was a personal matter. Um, some of that is was personal messages, but it was said to about people in the public, um, and the meeting was said right here at this at our public uh, economic board meeting. That's when she started bashing me and Fred, and again Michael had to ever stop for what but, she was doing. So. But my question is, was it done in the capacity as a public official operating during a public official business matter? Or was it, I'm just going to blast somebody on social media type of a thing? I'm not sure which way you could look at it. It's To me, it's still ethical as far as she's <laughs> saying these things and to about our public officials, about public people, and it, again, interrupting the meeting is, it's official, I would say that. It, and, and I completely respect that, John. I just, I'm just trying to understand that it's a fine line between freedom of speech and somebody acting in a public official capacity during their role as a public official stating something on the record against somebody. So that's what I'm trying to understand, which way you're... I guess I, I'm not sure if we need to move this to for a, a lawyer's opinion. I'm not sure. I'm not from, you know. Essentially, uh, if, uh, as, as uh, she points out, if she was in her physical, official capacity as, as a JP and she was doing something, that's one set of circumstances. Okay. Then there's another set of circumstances which are clearly objective in that if she's an elected official, uh, she had a uh, responsibility, let's say, higher responsibility uh, to maintain a certain level of decorum in, in public discourse. That's up to you. The gentleman making a, uh, 
making a complaint, you would have to review the, the, the language that went by to determine whether that rose to the level uh, of that objective level of her as a JP uh, not acting, uh, becoming of, of someone in public service. So, okay. I'm not sure where we go from here. Um, I'm not either. I'm, I, and I'm not either, but it seemed to me that it did. Uh, it, it was on both sides of that line. If it was uh, at a public meeting, um, the but then on the other hand, yeah. I mean, it was a public meeting. Yes, the Economic it was. Development mm -hmm. Committee was a public meeting. Yes, but then the other part of it is private messages. Um, um, uh, yeah, so I, I don't know where I to think go. Maybe I, we I should know. take it under advisement and talk about it further with maybe possibly the attorney. Let's discuss it with right. the full board. Let's table it until we have some time mm -hmm. to, to discuss it. Thank you. It might be more appropriate for the I'm not. This right. is something we've never. Yeah. Right. And again, like I said, I, I've talked to them, uh, JP and uh, Jenny up there, and they both said it, it's pretty much going to come back here. Even if I send a complaint, they send it back here. She said there were already two complaints before, prior to the year. Did you let it snow? Was you, you spoke to? It was um, where? JP and... Uh, JP where? At upstate. Um, uh, JP is with the Secretary of State, I believe, it's Secretary right? Secretary of State's office. And so is Jenny uh, and they're both uh, Prosser. In the Secretary. Yeah. Who's Jenny? Jenny, Jenny, Prosser. Jenny Prosser with the Secretary of State. Yeah. Uh, um, so, um, and they both said basically that there's no, they don't have anything that regulates it. They don't have anybody enforces that. It would fall to the regulations that they have here for the for our rules here in the town. So I think we need to check our policies yeah, too. Review your policies. You uh, I think that's true. Policies. There's two different. There's a social media policy, and then there's the conflict of interest and in ethics policy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it would seem to me that this is under the ethics policy, but it might be under the social media. I I doubt it though. Okay. There's not much in the social media policy that applies to us. That mostly covers a, a town Facebook site and things mm -hmm. and Twitter and things that we just don't have. Okay. Um, it's but not there an are official some, town Facebook though, right? No, no, no. no. It's not it's a personal. No, no, I'm talking about the policy. Oh. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, um, and then, there, and then you do have another complication. It would seem to me, if I understood it correctly, um, she's not a justice of the peace yet. She's a, a she's a JP elect, right? And it's not effective no, until two one. Um, <laughs> so, uh, uh, I, I, so, I'm I do not know where it falls. Um, no, once you're elected, you're elected right after the two year uh, term election. Yeah. My understanding um, is it started, but it doesn't start till February 1st. Actual position starting to go forward. So she isn't a public official. So that changes the is, whole is, thing. Is under well, vote. It, it accepted yeah. elect, right? I, yes. I don't know what that, that's another gray line, right? Mm -hmm. Well, that's all I'm asking to see if it's something that we can go forward. Um, I got the information there too to Michael. You know, um, you know, we can make copies or something, or the information's there, so that's something the board would review at a later time here. But I just, you know, don't, this kind of things I don't think should be happening in the town, and that's one of the reasons like I'm running for it because of this kind of stuff happening. Good job. Yeah, just. Um, I know that in the past we have we have had confirmation from our lawyer about ethics uh, violations that we that the board did not address, um, uh, and that's a little concerning to me. Um, I I'm not I'm not clear whether or not this actually falls under it. I think I'm leaning toward it. it my opinion would be that it it kind of doesn't. It sort of falls into the first uh, into the first amendment, but it's but that doesn't make it. That doesn't make it not egregious behavior, but it but it certainly guess, means that it's. Uh, if, and if you look back I'm, to some of this, does fall under when she was a board member here. It was back in August. But I, I guess I'm so confused over Facebook and all this stuff mm -hmm. and what's legal and what's not legal because I read last week of your wife putting on that everybody should go to the select board meeting and watch all those sneaky. Um, people going off the board and not to let them sneak anything through and I didn't take it personal I didn't take that as a slam and I didn't mm -hmm. feel that I needed I don't to come in anything sneaky about it but the, I the it was all it's videos. on Facebook I could probably find mm -hmm. it but it was a great big red thing mm -hmm. that said go to the, everybody should go to the select board meeting and people that are going out of office we've got to make sure they don't slide through any other sneaky things and everything I didn't think that was a I just let it go. I didn't think it was something I needed to fight. Mm -hmm. But I guess I need to see the the um, 
policy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's all I'm asking for. Okay. Very good. Thank so you. At this point, we'll take it under review and we'll we'll look at it, Ronnie. Mm -hmm. Just. Uh, I was just gonna say, uh, I don't know. All I know is hearsay. That's why he's saying nothing. All I know is what I've heard. I've heard from the people on the economic committee, and I've heard uh, from Michael. I'm, you know, but it's all hearsay. I know I don't have no evidence of nothing. Right. So that's that's where I'm going with it right now. And it's difficult mm -hmm. because not everybody is on Facebook. Not everybody mm -hmm. right. chooses to right. to participate. You know. And I mean that's pretty liberal at Facebook anyway. They this they put everything on there. <laughs> yes. Where First Amendment right uh, sort of varies, I don't know if use the word vary, say the, the lady is a, a justice of peace, justice of peace elect, and there are some guidelines under that particular office that clearly st state conduct. Uh, for example, if you're in the military, you can't take part in any uh, political campaigns because you're in the military. Uh, that, that part of your free speech is debated. If that's something, then... I don't know. I'd have to look under the, you know, what the Justice of Peace does. She hasn't been sworn in yet. That doesn't take place uh, until February. Yeah, I, I use the word elect. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's and I, that's a broad term, so. I guess that's a yeah. gray area. So. I'm just trying to okay, process so, this. So, in the meantime, we're going to take it under advisement. What's, what's our, do we have a, any thoughts on our next step? Uh, maybe we do need to ask the lawyer. I'm not sure if that's true or not. Um, I, I'm not sure that he's going to give us any different of opinion than the Secretary of State would give us. Um, uh, although he has in the past. I mean, uh, the Secretary of State has asked us to refer things to the lawyer in the past, so maybe that is the route. Um, and, and whether whether sworn in or not, I mean, there is a, there is a concern about uh, uh, one of the JP duties is really to oversee elections or to help oversee elections. So uh, um, uh, it, it would seem to me that conduct would be important. Or a bias, or a willingness to, uh, to, we also to go check after with individuals. Vermont leads the cities and towns. Michael and their attorney. Maybe it'd be cheaper than using our town attorney. That's an excellent mm -hmm. idea. Okay. Well, they could give an opinion. Maybe I don't know. I don't have any opinion. I don't have enough facts <laughs> for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you very much. Very good. All right, John. Thank you. Have a good night. You too. Fall on those roads. Yep. Okay. Anybody else have anything in the public comment? I'm sorry I didn't announce the end of that. That's okay. I, okay. I think we forgot it. Okay. A little bit. So, we've been Do you have something? Hey, not to old business. Oh, okay. Okay. And so it's we didn't have any old business for tonight. <laughs> Oh, what did you want to add? Right, but I asked if there was any, but add anything you wanted to add to old business. Okay. Yes. Right. I'm sorry. What was it you wanted to? I was just curious if the water meeting was rescheduled since it was canceled. What water meeting? Uh, with, uh, six tonight. Yeah, the one that was for six o'clock tonight. What water meeting? It's well, just it listed on the calendar, the mm -hmm. town calendar as canceled. Oh, the wastewater meeting? That's yeah. the that wastewater. was canceled. Yes. Yeah. Right. I think um, he said, "Has it been rescheduled?" I, yeah. No, it has not. Okay. It's been rescheduled because the first one from the state was supposed to come down. To the wastewater? No, the, the one well, that was canceled two weeks ago. Oh, yeah. Oh, to oh. be clear, those are two different things. Right. Uh, the, there's a wastewater treatment uh, uh, meeting, that. and then the the water board is a different meeting. The water board is the one. I'm at. Yeah, tonight yeah, I yeah, think was it was the wastewater. The light, the conversation with them. Okay. Yeah. On the PFOA. The water. Right? Yeah, the PFOA issue. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> so we, at this point, we'll um, Michael present okay. the report. Mr. Chairman, Bennington County Regional Commission, I uh, recommend them to be awarded, be the consultant for the municipal planning grant. We had two requests for qualifications. Bennington County uh, participated in the town plan, is acutely aware of our zoning bylaws, uh, and the other uh, uh, request for qualifications fell short. I recommend that we use Bennington County Regional Commission for a consultant for our municipal planning grant to re- uh, advise us on changes to our zoning bylaws. Okay. So with that being said, I'll take a motion. Oh, well, do we have do we have both of those responses, and can we see them? I'd have to I'd have to take it out. But uh, well, I mean, I um, I mean, we're gonna we're about to vote on them without without knowing what the two responses are. Okay, um, I would have to 
Uh, I'm not not prepared. I, I reviewed both of them. And, uh, no, I understand. Yeah, it's, uh, and I didn't make it a recommendation, but if you you want, I, is there a date that it needs to be voted on by? Uh, actually, um, well, no, we just received the money for it. Um, at your pleasure. I'm, yeah, for my part, would. I would just like to read them. Just to, I would like to see them both, just so I'm, I know what I'm choosing. So we got between. the municipal planning grant, and mm -hmm. you're asking that the Bennington County Regional Commission right. be awarded as the consultant. Yes. Right. That's correct. That and yes. uh, and there was one other that you said fell short, and, I, and yeah. I'm. Yeah. Uh, it's not a it's late. trust issue, but I, uh, you know, trust but verify. It was late. <laughs> I would like to see them. I would like to see them. Both. Well, it technically didn't meet the requirements of the. It was late. I would like to see them both. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Question. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I thought no. you had your hand up. Okay. No. Sorry. Okay. Okay. So are we tabling that, or when are we? You're gonna have to. Phase two of the landfill, uh, the uh, the Johnson Company was given $650 that came out of the transfer station uh, maintenance budget, and they just yesterday posted the uh, the detailed description of the phase two. I haven't had a chance to read it yet. Uh, I have not heard anything about funding from that yet. So we have a detailed plan on the phase two, but we haven't heard anything from funding for the revolving loan. So I'm still waiting on that, and uh, we we have that. Okay. Economic development activities, a lot of economic development activities. I met with Southern Vermont members. Let me start again. I met with a representative of Southern Vermont Economic Development. I went through, uh, in painstaking detail, their, uh, I think it's a 10-year plan, 5-year plan, and... Uh, had a few observations that I shared with them. Uh, they made some recommendations on what I should look at. Um, a couple of things that, and I might have reported on this before, uh, n nowhere in that plan had any type of, uh, any type of observation or, or examination of how we process uh, uh, permits uh, in the state. Uh, I'm speaking to some people, permits sometimes take two years. Uh, Nothing was in that to, to, to take an examination of the state of how how things are processed. We 47th in the state for doing business. 48 out of 50 according 48, to Forbes. Yeah, 48 um, out of 50, and a lot of that has to do with the lugubrious nature of how uh, we process things. And nowhere in that document for economic development that was was that written. So that was one of my one of my concerns. Um, uh, and then I, I made some other general observations. It was a very good discussion, so I just want to make sure you know what we're doing there. Um, the uh, economic development in terms of the PFOA in the water, uh, I, I talked to the state, and they still have not come back with anything solid. And there's another gentleman that's involved in that with access agreement to a well. It's, it's convoluted. Uh, and... Uh, uh, there's other things I'll be discussing in, in uh, executive session tonight. And, uh, uh, just to, just as we go through that, and I'm, I know it's the, the world according to Bob and me on my soapbox a little bit, but I'm a select board member. I can do that. So we, we really need to be looking at because <laughs> as we go through and we talk to the different uh, agencies around Vermont about economic development, there's enough of this there are enough of these initiatives throughout Vermont, and they've been around for a while, that we could actually get empirical evidence on the results of these, which have not been good. So we need to be very careful about about who we talk to and 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 what kind of recommendations they're making, and is it in the same vein, uh, in the same vein as previous recommendations that have failed? That that was my exact observation, as a matter of fact, and uh, I I pointed out uh, several things that. Um, Seemed like they were uh, hard to describe, and I, I don't want to uh, make it sound like I'm being super critical. Um, we, we can save it for the exam. Yeah, we can save, yeah, save it for that. Yeah. 
I got to actually, you know, grab some of my materials and go through that with you. Um, the next item, Mr. Chair, is request to vote on the emergency action plan. Uh, if you are ready to do so, that's the emergency action plan we have for uh, our, our employees in case there's a fire, a medical emergency, active shooter, things of that nature. And it's it was rewritten. Uh, to replace the one that's posted as we speak, and you had a copy of that. I don't think you have a copy of it now, but you've had a copy of it. Did we didn't make a copy for him. Seeking approval for that. <coughs> the emergency I'll action. Entertain, I'm, I'm good with that. I looked at it. I'm, I'll entertain a motion to approve it. Uh, yes, I do. Actually, it's in the, it's in the folder. What was the basis of where did this start? Was this a VLCP policy or no? Fine. No? Okay. All the way through. I did read this a couple of weeks ago, but uh, but um, refreshing my memory. So did we did we have a motion to approve? I'm yeah. asking for one. We we talked about it last week, and I think we agreed we were going to look at it and vote on it tonight. Approve it tonight. If there's no questions, I make a motion to approve. I'll second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Chair, would you pass that percentage, yeah. please? Let's see. The ne next two items are tabled um, because we have to, uh, we added something to the budget. We have to vote on that again. Uh, plus the cat TV. Plus the cat TV, correct. Uh, next item. Do we have to Actually, vote on the cat TV tonight? We have to discuss that tonight, right? You sent us an email about it. Uh, yeah, I think that's important. We should yeah, let's, spend five okay. minutes and talk about yeah. that. The young man over here might be able to lend some more inside information, but I understand there were some FCC rule changes that caused them to uh, have to get funds from other sources. Our cost would be 3000 a year, I believe. But that's only for two meetings a month, right? No, that was planning for commission board. for other boards that as well. Planning commission yeah, and yeah. Select board. So yeah, was two, two select, select board, board meetings a month. And one planning commission. And one planning right? commission. So yeah. if we have, if you went back to four meetings a month, we wouldn't have cap TV for two of them, or we'd Correct. pay extra for it. Yes. You would pay extra for it, but it's not it would not be in the budget. You'd like to increase that dollar amount. And that's fifty dollars an hour. I don't know what that breaks out to. Did you do the arithmetic? I think that's what your email it was. Said. I think it's more like a meeting, wouldn't it be? Fifty yeah. dollars an hour. <laughs> Fifty dollars a meeting. Yeah, so three thousand. I know, but it said in it said in the email like for the meeting it was one point five hours, and I'm thinking we've had some three I didn't hour. See the email. We've had some three hour meetings. Yeah, but we usually throw out cat TV going to executive session. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to from now on because we can't afford them. <laughs> I think I does it. I don't, is it okay for me to 
Sure. 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 So I think um, the the time calculated, the three thousand would include, I believe, the two meetings per month, uh, even if they go over. I think. And then I think if there are additional meetings, for example, a special meeting, I think that would be hourly just for the length of the meeting, not including setup and travel. So we wouldn't bill for the setup and travel, I mean. Yeah, I did read that we're, that we're that not going to bill for the setup and travel, but it was the meetings themselves. Yeah. I wasn't sure if that was in the letter. That's why I just wanted mm -hmm. to say that. You can increase that but for contingency, should you like, but that was the figure I was given from them. Mm. But that's another thing to add to our budget. <coughs> Correct. I personally think that's something we're going to talk about more, maybe in executive session, to uh, think of. Uh, it is because it's a contract, I think, we fit to this. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm amazed that it's been this many years and we haven't had to pay for it. Well, I can't believe people aren't willing to buy commercial time during the. Uh, <laughs> And the uh, next, uh, we need to hold a special meeting Thursday, January 31st at 6 p.m. for town morning. And Mr. Chair, you were discussing moving that to Wednesday so you could make it? Hopefully. Would you like to move it then? I would. So, unless and then guys, we have one February guys, 7th, too, unless right? Unless you guys want to have it without me, that's fine, too. I mean, it's up to you if we're just having that one item. But I already have a prior commitment. So, we need a um, majority? You would have yes. the majority if, you had the, if the three of you were here. Great. You, you can't we meet all without at least three. Right. So. Um, can't meet without each three, but a vote. And then, uh, and then we can't pass anything unless all three of right. us agree. So. Um, uh, That's my. I, I'm okay with either Thursday or Friday, I, or Wednesday or Thursday. So either of those will work for me. I can do week. Wednesday, but I can't do Thursday. So the thirty-first, we're talking. Mm -hmm. Well, the 31st is a Thursday. Yeah. Thursday is the 30th. Right. If you wanted to do the 30th, that'd be Wednesday. At what time? 6 p.m. I'm okay with that. I'm good with it. That would, would you like to make a motion? Make a motion, we do it. Will it work for you and Bob? Ronnie, it'll work for you? Yeah, I guess so. Works did you say me. 6 or 6.30? 6. 6. six. six. Well, yeah. It'd be Wednesday, January 30th at 6 p.m. Yep. And then we have something February 7th. February 7th. <laughs> shut up. On I shut my phones off, so I'm not looking at my calendar. January 30th, we're meeting on, the subject is? Budget. And then February 7th's meeting is on? Top of my head. Right? I don't know. But your next your next scheduled meeting would be February 14th. Yeah, but I thought we had a notice of a special meeting for February 7th. I don't recall it. I, again, I just I turned that my phone. That a bell to me too. Yeah. Get my phone back on. Nothing came from me. I thought it was on the calendar too on, on the website. On the website. I don't know why February 7th strike rings a bell. Yeah. Um, Some. Does everybody hear that? That rings a bell. Yeah, that, that rings, rings a bell. Are you going to government day? <laughs> um, yeah, February 7th yeah, February is government 7th. day. Yes. Oh my God. That's what rings a bell with me. That was funny. It really was funny. Uh, it's, not on the, it's not on the calendar. There's only a DRB on the 6th. There's a select board meeting. Was it, the town, was it the uh, planning commission, the town plan meeting? Area. Special board meeting. Town hall. Okay, I already had it. Okay. Public meeting. Okay. okay. That was Tuesday. Okay. Yeah, it's a special board I meeting. Sworn. I saw it somewhere. Town yeah. hall. I saw it somewhere. Yeah, I could have sworn I saw it somewhere too, but if not, that's fine. I wonder where that's. To be honest with you, I don't remember it. Okay. So. We'll table table that until we. Check calendar. Right, check your calendar. Um, that, oh, oh, did you vote to? Move the special meeting to Wednesday? We can. I'm good, but we all agreed to it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, the next item is the, the statement there, recommendation to discontinue wastewater board is a, <coughs> base, is a misnomer. It's not to discontinue the wastewater board. Uh, you see in your letter, uh, Darcy recommends that under the ordinance that I be the authorized agent or representative and report to you rather than you folks reporting going down for a meeting every quarter and we go once a year. But if we needed a hearing or something, sure. then we would all meet at Absolutely. the Absolutely. So basically, we could just keep that recommend recommendation to dis discontinue wastewater board meetings. How about that? Yeah, because we're not going to discontinue And then the and board. appoint me as your agent, okay. representative, or yeah, deputy. Yeah, we don't want to say we're discontinuing the board because we're not, not discontinuing okay. the board, just the I meetings. would say that in your motion to make it clear So, uh, and if you choose to do so. so. Not to be overly picky, but recommend, uh, recommendation to discontinue waste water board meetings. regularly scheduled meetings because we can always right. schedule one. Yeah. Right, if an issue comes up, right. So make the motion, Bob. You've got the words. Um, I motion that we uh, uh, discontinue wastewater board regularly scheduled meetings with the uh, with with the caveat that we can always call one. And Michael will be our representative. Uh, yeah, and Michael will be our representative. Yeah, I got some concern with that. Now you're dealing down with just uh, two people. Wastewater, I mean, I live in one town. She lives in another town. And people up town. here on another town. town. Well, and on the wastewater people. So you're not on it, so, what, what, you know, I mean, you're, you, uh, but I have people ask me about this stuff all the time. And, uh, you know, well, are we putting any money away? Are we doing this? Are we doing that? And I'm thinking, you know, uh, I think Michael's doing a good job. But why should we have all the jobs? Well, he wouldn't be doing the budget. We'd be doing the budget. Well, not according to that rule. Yeah, we'd be doing it once a year. We'd be going down there once a year, and that was the way I understood it. Well, that paper it came from the law or whatever. Okay. Mm -hmm. Where's that? And the thing about it is, I mean, if you've got complaints, uh, that sometimes it gets to be a, a little favoritism or if they got it, uh, more people. Talk. Plus, we don't have people that are sitting here probably ain't going to be sitting here in March. So we're making a decision that takes over. We, we, don't, we ain't going to have a wastewater meeting until what? The budget thing. I mean, that, we haven't even done that yet. That's done in the spring. It doesn't have a really anything to do with the budget. You'd be that's right. It don't budget. have anything to do with it. What I'm trying to say is, I, I don't. I mean, the budget. Well, look at. I'm saying new people wouldn't meet, wouldn't even go to the wastewater treatment facility. New people on this board wouldn't even go until next July or something. Hit work whenever they wanted to. That's right. What I'm trying to trying to get across, which. Maybe I ain't doing it the right way, but you've got, uh, we've had discussions before. It's been pretty quiet, pretty relevant, and, uh, but you've got five people deciding. It doesn't just uh, two. You've got five. So I have people that call me all the time. I look for these lines lots of times. I deal with her probably as much as anybody, and I get along with her all right. That's not the problem, but I think we're, we're designating too much to... Uh, uh, this is more like a town manager. So we're not. We have an administrator. Administrator, in, in my thoughts, is uh, going to is supposed to help research these things, find out where we're lacking, what we don't have, what information we don't have. He has. That's a full-time job for him. You have a job. All you have a job. I even have a, have something to do. But I mean, we have a person. Why <coughs> I thought we had it, we, not to load them up with this stuff. And if we go down, like I've had people at the trailer park, they want to get discontinued off. Other people that, you know, they. Uh, and we got to have. I think it has to be dealt with with, with everybody. I think. Okay. I think it is. So, all we're asking to discontinue is the regular meeting, the regular, because we, by law, we have, we have, by town rule. We have um, a meeting scheduled every month for wastewater. We cancel it every month because there's nothing to talk about. But if there is something to talk about, we would still meet as a meeting. board. We yeah. would be the wastewater. Yeah, it's all hunky dory as long as there's nothing to talk about. Right. 
So we're saying if there is something to talk about, then we you would have, have a meeting. I believe it, Chris. Look, I didn't want to be a, a sewer commissioner. 2006, they just said, look, you're a sick man. You're a sewer commissioner. I didn't want to be a sewer commissioner. I didn't, we didn't want nothing to do with it. But that's a, that's a, a duty that you were assigned. And I mean, I got that ordinance and stuff. I have uh, read a lot of it. And, I, and I've had a lot of people come and they have questions. And what, all I'm trying to say is, we, uh, you, who's, who's going to inform us? Oh, there's no problem. Well, we're, 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 we settled it amongst ourselves. There's only two people. That's all. I, no, I think I, I, I'm confused. I see the point. Um, so the point uh, what? for me, the point is, uh, and maybe I want to rescind my uh, motion. But uh, uh, the, the point is that uh, it, it's a lot easier to say we don't need to meet. Let's just cancel it than it is to, to reschedule it if we need to meet. I'm also a little concerned because I know we went, uh, going back when we went from weekly meetings on the select board to twice a month, um, we thought that we would, we would likely go back to the weekly meetings at some point. Um, and that seems to be a, a, a higher hurdle than I thought it was going to be, yeah, to go back to the weekly meetings. meetings. Well, yeah, now we're having the special meetings. And then when we do have the meetings, they run three hours. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so that, that, that's, but more importantly than that, every time we reduce the number of times we're meeting or we reduce how much we're, uh, we, make, we make ourselves less accountable to the voters, the select board, we are each all accountable to the voter, um, and nothing personal, Michael, but you're not, right? So we, the more we relinquish our power to you, the less accountable we are to the people of Pownall. That's just a fact, and that's uh, and so I didn't like it when we uh, when we went to uh, when we went to the, the the less than weekly meetings on the select board, and and if we're and if we're only meeting today on the wastewater, I mean we've. We, since I've been here, I think we've met there three times, maybe two. I don't remember if it was two or three since I've been on the board in March. So we cancel them all the time. There's, there's probably no end, there's probably no difference because uh, we, we, we end up saying that we don't need to meet, there's nothing to meet for. But I, I, think, uh, I think I'm leaning with Ronnie here on, on I, I like the idea of having them on the calendar. And then if we don't need to meet, that's fine. Yeah, we can cancel, we can cancel it. Cancel it. It's no big deal. We that seems right to be on. an easier route to me, and a, and a more accountable route than uh, than than uh, just canceling them, because then you tend to, to lose sight. Um, and uh, the chair is. Yeah, Marlene, I have a Thank question you. or a comment. Um, yes, the board is is um, responsible to the voters. And accountable to the voters but the way you just phrased that Bob it almost sounded like you were saying that Michael's not accountable to the board which he is and so if Michael's doing his due diligence in his research and providing the board with the information that as a board you need to make a decision then it is efficient or efficient for him to represent at that meeting bring the information back to the board because he has to be accountable to the board Right? Uh, I, I agree that it's more efficient that way, but that's already happening. The reason we can cancel so many of these meetings is because he's already taken care of it. But we were canceling those meetings even before we hired him. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it's still a matter of, and, and I, I wasn't saying that he's not accountable to the board. Of course he is. He answers to the board. Um, but he's not accountable to the, directly to the voters, and we are. So the more that we, the more that we, uh, the more that we uh, uh, delegate to the town administrator, the less accountable Pownall government is to the voters. That's my opinion, and I, you can disagree with the sure. opinion, but I, I think it's absolutely true. Okay, so I can see what you're all saying. I can see every bit of it. Um, I don't think it's in Michael's job description to be head of the sewer commissioner, and, and I don't think we it's, met that I, I for that to be your responsibility. Uh, that's, I wouldn't be a sewer commissioner. I'd be your representative. That's right. 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 In lieu of you having scheduled meetings and um, I get down and visit with her and she we talks about we talk about pumps valves chemical filtration I think it's almost like we used to have the road foreman come in and now we talk to you and we used to have the sure. um, transfer station guy come in and now we talk to you and, and we have staff meetings we, twice a month we throw things across but the if table our, and, if our statutes say that we have to have a sewer board and sewer commissioners we're still going to have sewer commissioners yeah, yes. it's just a, it's a matter of whether we meet or not yeah. 
And so I see no problem with scheduling the meetings. If and you're not going to have a meeting and you don't need to have a meeting, then cancel the meeting. That's my opinion. Well, that's the way I look at it. I mean, if we do need a meeting, so well, look at. And also, I think it keeps uh, what it keeps people more on top of things. Mm -hmm. I honestly believe that. We haven't I learned voted, a lot but I think we got a quorum over here. <laughs> sure. I, I learned a lot from going down there and, and whether you can go on on the sewer and what it takes to come off and why you can't come off and how much it costs. And, and I think it's good for board members to know that. And I think it would be good for future board mem members to know that, too. It wasn't my idea. <laughs> no, I know, really I know, and I'm not saying it wasn't yeah, your idea. It was my idea. I'm not saying it wasn't your idea, yeah. but my I'm, motion to would I'm be to... I'm perfectly happy. You, I make a motion you to, to keep it as is. Despite my previous motion, I'm going to second that okay. motion. All in favor say aye. 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 I uh, recommend we go into executive session to talk about... Um, Contracts and evaluation and uh, some other issues. You have to state those. Yeah, when you have to state personnel, personnel, personnel compensation uh, for a town employee, uh, my evaluation and contract. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Those are like three separate. Executive session. Yeah, yeah we're, we're gonna, gonna have to come out. Okay, so no, no, no. but you've already stated what they are, so. So we'll come out of each session. We'll go in, take yeah. a time, and come out and okay. go in again. Okay. We'll be here all night. You can't <laughs> stay as long as you pre-announced it for each piece. No, we have to come. Each executive session has we to be to for, one topic. for one topic. For one topic. On oh, one topic, asking. we change no, that, one, a good question. Whatever we go in for yeah. first, we yeah. have to. Yes. Whether we make a decision or not, we, we vote to come out, right. and then we have to vote to go back in. So, Ron, where do you go? Can, can we hold? Can we hold on a minute? <laughs> like a we're still on the air, and <laughs> Ryan's got a question. I vote to go into executive. Did we vote? I, I don't think we voted. Oh, yet. We haven't voted yet. Take a motion. Right. Thank you, Ryan. I'll make a motion we go into executive session. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 aye.